Another benefit to this ebook are the tools that you'll notice listed up at the top. You can save pages, you can email yourself pages, you can also print pages, you can cite this ebook if you need to include it in a works cited or reference page. If there is a word that you don't know, you can always look it up in the dictionary. You can also export this ebook and you can save it to your Google Drive or sections of it. Depending on your needs, you would click on each one for whatever you wanted. So if I wanted to save pages, it will tell you here the page limit of how many pages I can save in a PDF format and you have different options here to select. So I can choose just the current page or the current page and the next however number of pages or this particular set of pages which is three and save it as a PDF. If you want to email a certain number of pages to yourself, click on the email pages and it will again tell you the limit of page numbers that you can send to yourself. So in this instance, it is 60 pages as a limit. You have the same options listed below, but over on the right hand side, you have the option of selecting if you want a detailed citation included with this email along with the abstract. And also you have an option of a citation style. So if you need APA or MLA, for example, you can select the citation format that you require. The email will always come from EPHOST. You would type in your email address or whatever email address that you decide this portion or section of the ebook should be sent to. Include a subject. Typically, I like to include the section or the pages that I'm emailing to myself. And then these are comments, whatever it is you want to include to yourself or to the person that you are emailing this to. And click email PDF. If you happen to be someone who likes to have a physical book in front of them, or printed pages in front of them, and right now you don't happen to have the textbook in front of you, you can always choose to print pages to for yourself. So you can click on print pages. Again, there is a 60 page limit at a time, and you would select the sections that you wanna print. You can also select to cite this book or select, cite certain sections of the book. So, when you click on site, you will see the different citation format styles that you can choose from, such as APA, Chicago, and MLA. Those are the most common. And you can always pull the citation for your works cited or your references page. Just keep in mind that the citation generated by this database is not 100% accurate, and you may need to make some corrections or adjustments. You always want to double check the citation for accuracy and make corrections where necessary. The export button actually does not export the textbook or pages from the textbook. It will export information about the textbook and these are the different formats in which you can do that. Most likely you will not need this tab at all but you can save it or email it if you decide to use it. It is just a paragraph about the textbook, general information about the textbook, but no direct pages or content from the textbook. The last option at the top is the Google Drive button, which again tells you a page limit for you to export and you have several options here to select. So if you decide to export to your Google Drive, it will prompt you as to which Google Drive account you want to use, especially if you have multiple accounts on your computer. So you will wanna select your Google Drive account and then it will ask if you allow EBSCO to have permission to access this account, you want to click allow in order for them to communicate with each other. And it says that 
if you had to permit your pop-up blocker to allow this site, this window may remain open. Uh, please close this window and try uploading again. So I again will go to my Google Drive option here and click export. And it tells me that my document has been saved to my Google Drive account. And what happens on the Google Drive end is that a folder will be created automatically for me that is called EBSCO. You may have to refresh your Google Drive in order to see the folder, but there should be a folder there called EBSCO. And when you go into your folder, you should have that page or a set of pages that you saved or exported to your Google Drive account. A few tools that I want to point out at the end are the search within tool, which is located right next to the contents option right here. When you click search within, you can type in a keyword that you may be looking for, such as Picasso, for example. When you type in your keyword search and hit enter, it will look for any instance of Picasso within the textbook and show you a list of pages where Picasso is mentioned. You can click on that selection and be taken automatically to that page where Picasso is mentioned. Another feature of the ebook over here on the bottom menu, you can go to previous page or to the next page just by clicking on the arrows. And you can also decrease or increase the zoom based on your preference. You can also do a full screen view instead of the PDF view if you prefer. And to exit out of this view, you would just have to click or uh, press escape on your keyboard and that will take you back to the original view. And that's it. Once you're done, you can just click exit or close out the tab for the database and you're done using the textbook.